time for some fun. In this lesson, we're going to create an app that simply increments a value on the UI by pressing a button. And then this button should just be under the text view. Now I need to change this text. Now come over to the text view. By the time you have a lot of views, I want to quickly navigate to the view. If I click on text view, it takes me to the code for the text view. I can say zero because initially the count is going to be zero. And I can say size 30 SP. For the button, I would write plus one because that is what it's supposed to do. Add one. I can also set the text size of the button to 20 SP. So the ID of the text view, I'll call it text value. And the text view of the button, I'll name it btn add. Let's head over to our main activity and reference these views. So I have my button, but let's start with the text view. Let's say find view idr. It's normally nice to add a prefix so that you know what type of view that is. So for text views, you can normally use txt. For buttons, you can use btn. It's something you will see often as you're coding in Android. So we can set a click listener on the button, say new or click. So Android Studio can help you generate this code. So if I say new and I write O, it knows I'm talking about an on-click listener, so it suggests that for me. So if I click that, everything is generated. I don't have to worry about all that. Now I want to increment the value in the UI. Let's have a local variable. You can have a variable count. I'll make it a value of zero. Each time the button is clicked, I'll increment the counts. So counts plus plus. And I want to make the text of the text view the count. I'll come and say text view, but set text. Now put count. Let's run this. If you look at this, us click one. Oops, our app crashes. So why is that the case? Now, when the app crashes, you can check the log cut over here. When you click on log cut, you see a lot of outputs here. Normally, you're looking for an error. So I can easily come here and click on error. Look for the latest error. So this is where the error occurred. On click main activity number 30, string resource ID. Normally the error will give you an idea of what happened. So this is what happened. Set text is looking for a string, not an integer. So me putting an integer is causing this error. So I have one option. I can come here and say string dot value of count so that it gives me the string value of count. If count was a string, I could simply put it straight away. So let's run this now. I say plus one. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So that's it. It works.
the next lesson, we will create a simple calculator to get two values and do simple operations such as addition. I hope to see you in the next lesson.